I'm going to show you how to replace the clutch pedal assembly in a Silverado. And if you don't have any of the tools or parts in this video, go down to the bottom in the description and I'll have links to Amazon on everything you'll need to do this job. It only takes a half hour, maybe an hour if you've never worked on a vehicle before. Okay, to remove the clutch master cylinder from the clutch pedal assembly, I'm going to show you outside of the truck so you can actually see what's going on. But one of the first steps is you would rotate the clutch master cylinder. It's like it would have been clockwise, uh, 45 degrees. And pull that out just to get it started. And then there's two tabs on the uh, rod here. You pinch those in and pull it out like so. Uh, you would disconnect your wiring, which there is a tab on the back side of this loop here. You push down, you pull your connector out. So we'll pull this out. As you can see, this is a square to fit the master cylinder. And it's only going to fit in one way. Uh, it's kind of hard to screw it up. But this is the area that busts out of the truck, uh, out of the pedal assemblies. And that's why I'm replacing this today. Now we'll get started with a flashlight. And... Uh, just looking at the bolts, they look like it'd take a 15 millimeter socket with extensions. So this is what I'm gonna start with. We'll go from there. So I did not do that right at all. Because it has to come out an easier way. So I actually took off this fuse block or this distribution block to help get the pedal out. Uh, but what I had done was pulled this side out of the hole first, which might have been a mistake, and then tilted it this way and got it out like that. Uh, there might have been an easier way. I might have been able to just pull this straight down and then got it out like so, but you can see where that square is busted out. That's what caused my clutch pedal to go straight to the floor when I'm driving through town. Not a good place for you to lose clutch. The part number is 1502-7983. All right, the pedal's in. How I had to go about doing it was sticking this end up under the dash, and then I shoved this, the backside, up against the firewall and shoved it until it fell in the hole. Once I got it figured out, it just goes straight in like that. It was pretty easy. Now, there's only three bolts that hold it in. Those are on. Move on. All right, you see that hole? Let me get my flashlight. All right, there you see the 
clutch pedal assembly coming through the firewall. That's what we're shooting for. The right of the uh, brake booster. Now we have the uh, factory brake or clutch master cylinder here. I'm going to put some grease on the end of that ball. Uh, the truck had a little bit of a squeaking noise when he's pushing the clutch pedal. I'd like to try to eliminate that if possible. Alright, I found me just some plain old wheel bearing grease. Nothing special about it. And I'm going to put this on the end. I don't know, it, it may not work, may not stick around, but... What could it hurt other than it dripping down on your foot? Or your wife's foot? If it's on my foot, it's not bad, but if it's on her foot, I'll take a beating. I have to get my flashlight back out. I gotta kind of work this around, make sure the clutch line isn't in a bad spot. You do not want to disconnect this line. Uh, th then you get into having to bleed the system and you don't want to have to do that if you don't have to. Don't put yourself in that position. Now you gotta hold your tone right. The switch, uh, the clutch pedal switch, is actually what's holding me up here at the moment. Now I've almost got it put in place, but I'm going to get it lined up. Clutch pedal first. Right, I don't know if you can see it or not. So I finally got it pushed into the hole. And that's supposed to be st strapped down, so I've got it pushed into the square, and now all you have to do is rotate it. Looks like it's quite in there yet. Or maybe it is. If I press too hard, I'm going to break it off. Looks like it's sealed up there pretty good, sitting against the clutch pedal assembly like it's supposed to. It's pretty close to straight up and down. Now, the real test is whether or not I've got a uh, clutch pedal here. Yes. Now all my grease wiped off the end of that uh, before I got it back together. You hear how, hear how noisy that thing is? Well, that's annoying. I think that's worse than my old one. I'm going to try to fix that. All I'm going to do is take a little bit of grease and put it on that white ball again. Try to get that thing quiet down just a little bit. This is a uh, Lucas Oil Products grease, not to be confused with Astro Glide. Still noisy. Now I'm assuming that the rest of that noise is coming from up here, but I don't know that for sure. The only other place would be from the other side of that ball. There's a metal rod that goes in the back side of that ball, and then the ball rides on the clutch pedal. I'll take the whole thing apart and try. So I'm figuring a lot of this out as I go along, but if you reach up there and start prying these tabs out and pulling it off at the same time, you can pull this off the end of the clutch rod. So now, I'm going to put grease in the bottom of that hole, 
see if that takes care of it. But don't forget to plug in your wiring, but listen to that. I think we've got it now. Let's go. Thanks for watching.